today's tutorial of Unit School Analytical Function that is called lag. In my previous tutorial, I have shown you how to use lead function to, to get the nth highest value uh, from an SQL query. <coughs> so the, here we will find the nth lowest value uh, by the SQL query. Actually, uh, I can show you, we have some data. Uh, we have two table, employee master and employee salary. In employee master, we have two column, employee code and employee name. And employee salary, we have pre month year and gross pay. So we will uh, retrieve our SQL query, which will give this columns pre month year, gross pay, and the next lowest gross pay. So what happened? If I look, suppose we put the select statement in an order statement of descending order of gross pay. Suppose after the select statement executed, it comes like this. 11,000, 10,000, 9,000, 8,000. So <coughs> suppose <coughs> we are at this current record now, 8,000. The gross pay shows 8,000. Now I will find the second lowest after this. From the top, I will find the second lowest gross pay um, with respect to 8,000. So what will be that? It will be 10,000. Now we will find the third lowest of 9,000. It will be 12,000. So this is what a lag function does. Now we will just uh, write a SQL query where we will show how to execute or perform this operation where we will find the nth lowest value. So here we are using PLSQL developer and I am going to join these two tables, one employee master, another is employee salary, and put one ally, alias A and B for um, the respective table. So A for employee master, in quote, and, name, and from employee salary, B dot pay month year. and b dot gross pay. Now let's see one thing. Uh, when I am getting the highest value, uh, if I perform this SQL query on the total table, it contains a very numerous month year. And month year is in the format mm slash rrrr. So when we find the in, the, in every month year, for some respective employee, the amount of gross pay is always same. In many cases, it is same. So it will be very ridiculous if we perform this query in the whole of the table. Other than that, if you do one thing, you make a partition by. Uh, I, I hope you have um, heard the word partition by. We have, if you perform partition by operation and partition it by month year, suppose uh, 02, 201, 2, 03, 201, then uh, all the gross pay will be uh, partitioned uh, according to uh, grouping by month year. So, and we will get the nth lowest value on that respective month year, 1 for 2. 021 2, 2, 1, 2, 1 for 032012 and so on. So I'm just using the partition by clause gross pay and that's then the lead function uh, better we write it in capital caps so that we can understand. Uh, lead on which field you have to mention the field uh, on which field we are using this uh, I'm sorry it is lag function uh, lag on which field b dot gross pay lag on b dot gross pay so in lag function 
कॉलम पर बाय डिफॉल्ट द फ्लीट द सेकेंड आर्ग्यूमेंट इज ऑलवेज डिफॉल्ट वॉल ऑलवेज सी comma 2 or comma 3 uh, if we can say comma 1 then means it will just give uh, fetch the first lowest value if it is 98000 then it will fetch if you put comma 1 it will fetch it will fetch 9000 uh, if we get 9000 and fetch uh, comma 3 then it will fetch 12000 so we are not uh, in our first operation we are not putting the comma 1 we we'll just keeping that uh, out out right now so need lag do that was pay over then we do partition by partition by b dot to month year and order by b dot gross pay in descending order as you see in this uh, in our uh, as you see shown in the text file we have put it in descending order so in this due to that respect i have put it in descending order and give it an alias name next int value from employee master a join employee salary b on and we are joining this employee master and employee salary with a key field called employee id which is a primary key of employee master and reference key on employee salary so on b dot employee id equal to a dot employee id and a dot m great this is just a filter i am using here uh, because m great is is also is only contains valid data uh, all other m great and uh, null m great calls on invalid or ridiculous data which you which i will not be able to make you understand if they are displayed so i am just putting this filter a dot m great equal to s so this all about uh, the query so uh, let's execute hoping that there will be no syntactical error yes there is there is an error there is a ta small typing mistake okay let's see now we take some one value suppose this one row number 5 so the actual basic gross pay is 4367 and we are can get the lag lag function is retrieving the first lowest value after this from the top so it is 44129 see the right at the top value okay so say this one 27101 the lag lag function returns 28851 see that just the top value now this is when we put the very next value now if we put say The third value, third lowest value from the top. Now see, if we take any one, suppose we are taking two seven one zero one. So it is going fifty thousand eight. One two three. See, it is going one two three. This for fifty thousand eight. You can see. Uh, sorry. Uh, we are taking it is four four one two nine two two seven one zero one four four one two nine. 
so it is 1, 2, 3. The first one, 1, 2, 9. Take any other value. 1, 9, 8, 7, 7. So the only lag function is 8, 2, 5, 0, 3, 1. So, 1, 2, 3. See. So, this is the lag function which actually within, with a single query, it is a small, using a, a small analytical function, you can retrieve, uh, suppose in class, uh, you are looking at some marks and okay what is the what is the marks uh, somebody who got um, the third lowest marks from this student so find out that you just apply the lag function put a just put comma three and you can get the value this is to say this is the all the records you can also find out for some uh, particular employee say take the employee number 10 where in quote sorry and b dot m code equal to s302 no this will not work it will not work because uh, it is filtering out all the record and it's not getting the uh, other values from where it will find the highest value so you can do it you can you have to uh, keep, uh, just keep it in a subquery select star from say x you know how to write an inline view so this is an inline view x where x dot m code equal to s301 it's okay so now you can find the next uh, third lowest value from the top so th this is uh, one thing and let's say uh, we will try with another one see if we put this de descending order out and make it a default ascending order order by clause now what happens see it just do the reverse opposite thing it just do the opposite thing it find the nth highest value third highest value so it's it it, it all depends on the order by uh, no, so it's, it's a, it getting nth uh, highest value from the bottom. Okay, when you are just changing it, it from in the ascending order from low to high, it's it's a lag function is just retrieving the nth highest value from the bottom. So to, uh, in lead function also you see if you uh, remove the DSC, it will do just behave as in. Um, lag uh, order by ASC uh, ascending order so this is you can see if you just uh, get this one 2551 so third one is 2433 you see 1 2 3 so uh, what happens here when you are using lag function it all depends on the order by you place what time what order by you place if you order by it in descending order it uh, checks from the top it, actually it always checks from the top whether it is in ascending order whether it is in descending order it gets the end value from the top so this is uh, what about lag analytical function i hope uh, you, you understand this and you if you like this you can like on like the video or share it on your social networking site and uh, you also you can also subscribe to my channel thank you very much